Good evening and welcome to the Dark Mom Consortium for February the 27th to 1 at 1 to 3. I am Mom. I'm also solo. No, not that solo. Not Han Solo. Mom Solo. Would that be Han Solo's mother? And no, we do not accept that lame concept in uh, Star Wars that, you know, some stormtrooper admin gave him the name Solo. Pfft. Yeah. Not going there. But anyway, I'm on tonight. I thought we would uh, team up to try and get a little bit of the Tholian captain done. I'm in Indy, which means I've only got the one monitor working. But I do have my chat live and open. Let's see if chat's actually working, though. And my chat isn't working. Okay, cool. Glad to know that. Easier to find it out now than a little bit later when people are like, but your chat's not working, Mom. Yes, thank you. I'm aware of that. All right, so we've turned that off. Now we go back in. No, turn off. Off, darn you, off. Off! Turn off, you silly phone. All right, there you go, there you go. That's turned off. Let's see if I can turn it back on. No, it likes to default to just being on. Why? Why? What is wrong with you? Okay, if I go back to it. <laughs> well, I can see it, but I can't see chat going on here. That's fun. Send a message. Here we go. T E S T. Okay, I can see it if I send it, but if it just is getting posted up there, I can't see it. Good. Oh, joy. We'll see what happens over the course of the rest of the evening. Hopefully I will be able to talk to you guys. So as I was saying before, I so brutally interrupted myself, um, defeating a Tholian captain, not, you know, throwing some damage on him, but defeating him. If I remember correctly, not everyone can defeat the Tholian captain at the same time because you have to do X amount of the damage. So I was thinking, let's team up and uh, see what it takes to defeat a Tholian captain question is, can you run that as a private? Let's go down there and see. No. I mean, you can run it as a private, but you have to run it with five people. I don't have five accounts to run that. I'm speaking of weird things going on. Did they finally... It looks like they finally finished the event. All right. So I'm not seeing any Omegas out here. Much as I love the Omega event, I really do love it. It was on all weekend, and I was just so burned out. I had decided to get 3,078 uh, yellows, reds, and blues, which I got. I got exactly the same with all of them. Very happy about that. And then I realized it was on Saturday, Sunday, and part of Monday, and, and Friday, for that matter. I just thought, <sighs> you have a life that involves something beyond Star Trek. I know, heresy. Heresy coming from me. But heresy nonetheless. You know what? I probably ought to go into Discord over here. Even though it's still just me. Okay. Still just me. But I thought we should give it a try. So let's see. What have I got that I can throw at a Tholian captain? Yeah. That might be fun. I don't think that's going to work. Torment of the Underworld. Ooh. That could be fun. I got anything that's any good down here for throwing damage at him. Don't want to burn my mass stuff up, but you know, what the heck. It looks like that's it. And we will do some randoms tonight if anybody's interested. That said, I'm not going to be on super late tonight. Um, Trying to get some sleep. Life has not been going well, as I'm sure most of you are aware. And sometimes all I want to do is sleep. So I'm forcing myself to stay up a little bit later than I wanted to go to bed. I wanted to go to bed as I walked in the door. But Loki required a nap, which required that she get some exercise first. So now she's sound asleep in my lap. Thank you very much, Loki. I can no longer feel my legs because she is... She requires that you hold her in just this certain position. My legs get numb. 
And yes, I know that that's the anniversary intro and I should change it to something else, but we don't have an event going on. And I'm not back in Chicago to start editing things into a new intro. That's interesting. What is that? Ooh! We have some fun toys here. What else did we want to throw in there? Go over there and throw that there. And I saw that we had some of those guys over there. Remember the 3,078 traces I had? We're now down to 1,983 of them. So I ever find about 1,100 because I haven't really been working at it. Better than last year when I didn't even start them until like the day before the... Well, that's an exaggeration. The week before the uh, anniversary was happening. Ah, yes. Dog in my lap. I do not plan to be on tomorrow. I have to be here in scenic Indiana until 5.30, which means I will be driving from 5.30 until 9 at night. So I won't be on. But that's okay, because that means I get to actually listen to 10 forward while I'm driving. Yay! Something I don't get to do too often. All right, let's see if we can get into this one. We're on advanced, but it doesn't mean we have to play it on advanced. Kara. We'll do that one. What do you think? Let's try advanced. Let's see how we do. So don't have the best weapons. Have good enough weapons. No, I didn't upgrade anything this weekend. I started a few things and had really really bad luck with stuff. I just wasn't getting anything up to Epic. And I thought, you know, that's crazy. Let's not spend all that money on stuff. Let's try that one. What am I testing? I'm testing how much damage it takes to defeat a Tholian captain. Because it doesn't say play the episode. It says defeat the captain. So, I've never seen it go where everybody managed to defeat it, which means this amount of damage being dealt. Right? Right. And how are you, by the way? I haven't seen you for a while. Oh, no. Um, okay, so my... When I'm in India, I don't bring both my monitors here, and I've got one monitor in storage, but for reasons that I don't want to go into, everything's getting moved out of my apartment and either into the house that I'm moving into next week, or it's going to go into a different storage. So I just thought, you know what? I'm not even going to deal with it at the moment. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Good morning, Wolfball. I am sorry to hear you have not been well. Oh, well, I'm glad this, glad this week has been better. My husband just finished up um, <clears throat> 10 days of proton radiation therapy for a tumor in his back. Um, and, you know, you hear proton knife. Okay, you're thinking it's going to be, like, very localized and not a lot of long-term side effects. He barely has been out of bed for a week now. I'm here in Indy only because my son is able to stay with him in Chicago. I mean, he couldn't climb the stairs from downstairs to upstairs, so I've been having to bring his food up to him. And I guess he's able to sit up today. This is, like, major progress. So, just just been a joyous week for everybody health-wise. And, of course, Mr. Stress got to me this week, so... Yay for doctors who believe that stress is a real thing and are not hesitating to hand out quality drugs when this occasion requires it. Let's see if we can avoid jumping in there. Yay! I'm up here, but let's set this up here. One, two. One more over here, I think. Wait for these guys to get here, and... Come on, guys. 
It doesn't kill him till you make him show up. I have collective nightmares from him, which I'm interested in seeing. What would collective nightmares do to a Pokemon? We'll never know, because he's hiding. Wow. He will notice everybody's staying up here because they're all smart enough to know that this is where the damage is going to get done. I hope they're smart enough to know that. Hi, Delucy. How are you doing? Thank you for being so understanding yesterday. I was not in a good place. Ah, great. Now, now we got the acid damage. Before he shows up. Yes. One more. Let's see what happens. Gosh darn you stop knocking me down. Well he's defeated. Okay, so it looks like if you want to do damage, have some AoE stuff, or enough to defeat him. Tons of AoE. Stay up here. Team up with people who've already done it. Thank you, WC. And to you, sir. Good health to everybody, please. We will need it. You know, all of us have been inside our houses pretty much for two plus years now. Which means we're all getting really sick because we're not used to being out there interacting with human beings. Little did they suspect that by making us stay in our apartments and not getting sick, we all are staying in our apartments and getting sick as soon as we have to leave again. All right, who needs or would like to do that? I'm happy to switch. And I can give backup and you can just stand up there and shoot the poor captain. And good morning to Wolfbo, over on the wrong side of the planet. Yeah. Well, I will be honest, I didn't see it coming because I honestly thought, what the heck, they're smarter than that, right? Uh, they're not smarter than that. People are not smarter than that. Yes, there's an obvious epidemic in a place. Lock it down, keep it there, but no, 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 no. People are like, no, it's not that bad. Oh, yeah, I can jump on a plane. I don't have it. Snarg. Von Marcus, yeah, I, <clears throat> quitting drinking is probably good. But yeah, chronic pain is an issue, chronic health issues. Wow. Hey, you, I'll, I'll be happy to give you the 30 pounds I've got. You are more than welcome to it. I'm very happy to share. I'll give you more than 30 back. So I was looking at my husband the other day and said, are, have you lost any weight? <clears throat> oh, no, no, I'm the same. And I'm looking at him. He is skin and bones. If he weighs 145 at the moment, I would be floored. The point where I knew how bad it was, was when an ER doctor I was following had his LinkedIn account barred for the crime of sharing an academic article from the British Medical Journal. Whoa. Yeah, I know it's not great, WC. Um, it's not that he can't keep food down. He can. He's just not hungry. And because of one of the other medications, everything tastes funny. 
or wrong. And it's not COVID, it's something else. I can tell you what it is, but we won't go there. Anyway, yeah, food doesn't taste right. Some things do. Weirdly enough, chocolate does. So he decided he wanted a piece of chocolate cake. And I grumbled a little bit because, you know, finding a store with chocolate cake isn't, with good chocolate cake, isn't an easy task. But went to the good store, got him a chocolate cake, and he had a piece of it, and that was good. Then the next day he wanted chocolate milkshake. Yeah, chocolate milkshake, so I got him one of those. And the next day he wanted... Oh, I forgot what it was. Chicken fingers from some restaurant on the other side of town, so I went to get him that. And then he decided he wanted a hot dog. I don't eat hot dogs. But I went and got him that. So if he wants it, I've been getting it for him. But that's taken me to the point of food is just bleh. So now it's, ooh, I've been having uh, oatmeal a lot because it's easy. Von Marcus, I will give it to you. I will give you all my weight. You're more than welcome to it. Unfortunately, one of the meds that the doctor gave me is really good for helping me gain weight. I don't need to gain weight. Thank you very much. Good evening, Osiris, and a salute to you too, sir. So would anybody like to do anything this evening? Yeah, Von Marcus, you're probably going to have to do something like one of my bosses does, which is has a timer at her desk and it goes off every four hours <clears throat> and she then has to get up go to the kitchen eat something get some water drink that and then walk back to her desk of course hello hi how are you i'm good 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 glad to hear it i assume wc by cream tweet means something akin to cream of wheat which is what they call it here. And coarse semolina. Yeah, I don't know that I've seen that in stores in a long time. Cream of wheat? Wow, I haven't heard that in a long time. Oh, yeah. Well, when my dog was dying, that's one thing she would eat for a few days. And I learned to make it with whole milk or cream and butter. And holy moly, is that good. <laughs> and then after three us? days, she wouldn't eat that either. So. What are we talking about? Cream of wheat. Cream of wheat? Yeah. Yeah. I was, <laughs> my dog was dying, and it's one thing she wanted to eat, so I made it for her. Oh, well, that's that's a valid reason to make it, but yeah. don't make me, don't, she you also, can't force me to like it. She also wanted chicken tenders, but only the ones that you can get at Sonic, seriously. The rest of them, she was just like, and I can't remember else. Um blueberry muffins blueberry pie you know at that point i was just like uh, whatever you want dear i will drive all over the planet to get it for you <clears throat> and then you know, then she didn't want to eat well, that either aha uh -huh. and right now my husband is eating spanakopita that's that's what that's spanakopita what is that it's, it's grape leaves stuffed with stuff no it's not it's phyllo dough stuffed with stuff Oh, yeah, that's right. The the grape leaves is something else. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's a uh, phyllo dough, like really thin, puffy pastry, and I make a mixture of spinach, feta cheese, cottage cheese, a little bit of onion, a lot of dill, ton of butter. Okay. And if it's something that he wants to eat, he gets it. Those Grecians really like their dill. Yeah, it's good, too. And being a good Swede, I make <sighs> decent Greek food. Go figure. Mine is really good, too, Lucy. I make really good Spano. Me, I actually really go for some matzo ball soup for some reason. Oh. It's really salty, though. That's the thing. I suppose that would depend on who makes it. I've had it only a couple places, and all of them were in New York. I don't remember it being really salty. Mine I grew up with it. I grew up ah. with it. My mother made... Soup uh, from oh pastizio, <gasps> oh my god! My, the restaurant right across the street from here makes a killer pastizio. Oh, they also make a really good um. What's the other one? Uh, it's like lasagna, but you make it with eggplant. Eggplant parmesan? No, 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 no! It's a Greek <laughs> thing. What? What's the Greek one? 
Moussaka or Moussaka. Moussaka, yes. Cultural appropriation, that's what we call it. Well, it's a Greek restaurant, so they, it's not really appropriating. I don't make that one. But, oh, is that stuff good? Theirs, at least, is really good. So, did anybody hear the news that um, the guy who created Dilbert got canceled? Really? Yeah, he went on a racist rant, and now all every um, every newspaper in his entire circulation base dropped him. Wow. Over 117 different uh, significant regional newspapers dropped him all at the same time. Yeah, and he so said, oh, this, this was a business decision. I was like, holy cow. And no, I understand uh, WC. I know exactly what it is. Um, and that's that's why I use it because uh, the people that are, are that are claiming it have no idea what it means. <clears throat> Whoa! If he really said that, that's no, he I did. He, it, it was he said that. Um, I mean, I'm not going to repeat half the things he said, but it was unmistakably racist. Yeah, I, I don't know that I would ever cancel anyone's business over that, but I would probably stop watching or reading it. But I, uh, I never even read it, so I don't even know. I never even got into Dilbert. <laughs> WC says he's wealthy. He won't care. True. That's right. <clears throat> but that's one way to go. Uh, so I just heard that on the radio coming home and... and I spent three hours at the VA for a 15-minute appointment. That sounds about right. And I can't tell you why I was there for that long. I mean, they weren't, like, waiting on results. They weren't doing anything. It was just there. And I don't get it. I'm not supposed to understand uh, society. I understand this, but... It's painful. Would anybody like to join me for transdimensional tactics? Yes, I will join you for transdimensional tactics. Would you like to go Federation or KDF? Well, I'm currently on a Fed tune, but I can do either. Well, I'm going to jump over to a Fed tune for you. I just ran a few minutes ago on KDF working on some uh, ideas, so I'm happy to sit back there and back you up because I've already done mine. See, this is actually a test because one of my endeavors is to defeat Tholians on Nukara. Perfect. And I want to see if they like pair off of one another. Okay. Let's see. I think Zahn can do this. Hopefully, she's got something here. Yeah, she's got enough stuff. Well, I got to defeat a lot of frigates today on mine. Well, that would be. I think... We need to go play swarm. How many do you have to defeat? Ten. How many? Ten. Ten? Yeah, we, Ten. Yeah, let's You'll go never be able to accomplish that. We will go play That's more. a lot of frigates for me, huh? <laughs> then I'll have to do a uh, disruptor damage in space, so that's easy for me. Well, do you want to join us for uh, defeating the Tholians? Um, I'm on Federation right now. Perfect. So are we. Okay, there we go. I sent you an invitation. Yep, got it. <clears throat> okay, as I was discussing earlier, oh, I love you, Loki, but oh my god, my legs hurt so much. How a five-pound dog can make my legs hurt this much is amazing. Um, it's the amount of damage dealt to the Tholian, so I'm going to just not be up there. You guys can <coughs> do what you want to, and I'll just pew pew on other things. Anybody this is one of my us? top damage dealing characters. I have no problems whatsoever. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I do have a problem with that. <laughs> I'm doing twenty-five to three thousand damage with it. With I have no idea what kind of damage I'm doing. Right, but the issue then becomes the other people are going to have to run it again. So since I've already run it, I'm just going to back off and shoot everybody else. Oh, I just got to hit it and so I get my name in there. I don't have to like be the the big damage dealer. No, but you got to be one of the two big damage dealers. You have to defeat him. Is the problem. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah, that's where we came into it. Uh, Papa is fine, but the hell spot. Oh my god, there we go. Oh. That's my most exercise I get all day is picking her up, put her down, pick her up, down, up, down, up, down. Anybody else? Uh -huh. 
Anybody else out there? <clears throat> okay, I'm happy to run this a couple of times, so not to worry about that. Hello. And there we go. Wee woo. Donkey shin. Wee woo. Donka shin. Bitter. Oh, I just saw that uh, History of the World Part 2 is out, and it's actually done with Mel Brooks support. Nice. So, holy moly. I, I hope I hope it's old school Mel Brooks. <clears throat> it looks, does not look like old school Brooks. Yeah, it doesn't, but it doesn't mean that it couldn't have some of the flavor in there. Smile is the five letters, and each letter is in the wrong place. Well, that would be Excuse miles. Me. Limes. Limes. Yeah, that's a good one. Slime. <clears throat> nope, because the S is in the wrong place. So limes and miles both work. Why don't you try those? And Ooh. slime. <laughs> no, no, because there's a position <clears throat> thing. Slime won't work oh. because the S and the E are in the same one. It was Miles. Yay! Boom. Do, 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 do. Okay, somebody else go up there. I'll just stand here and look pretty. You better. Damn. I dropped a whole bunch of AoE stuff up there and just let that go. Well, somebody's already been in the asset. Great. No problems. Ooga. Ooga baga. Ooga baga. Oh, blue. That was blue sweet, right? Ooga. 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 Yeah. Ooga chaka. Wasn't that blue sweet? You know who originally sang that song? I, I thought it was blue sweet. Who, who sang it if it wasn't them? Originally done by BJ Thomas. Oh, that's right. It was. All oh songs came from Little Richard because he's always been around. This is true. He completely owns all music. Sorry, I didn't mean Little Richard, I meant Keith Richards. <laughs> Little Richard, I'd go for Keith Richard. Keith Richard's a whole different story. So what did Blue Swedes sing? They had one hit. A proper one hit one. Yeah, that was it. Queen. <laughs> 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 knocked me down he's so rude yeah I was up there and he kept throwing me in we were doing good with the acid thing until he knocked me back into the acid it was so annoying how dare he <laughs> I just decided to steal him everybody else was attacking him and just pulled him over to me what happens if you take damage do you get a special badge <laughs> nothing I mean it doesn't even actually like give you any extra points it's just, it says optional, but there's no real advantage. No. Because you literally can't get through it without touching the acid. You can't. That's the weird thing. But as soon as well, I've never seen it happen. No, I've never... Oh, that's not true. I did see it happen once. But this one's been around for <clears throat> almost the entirety of the game. <clears throat> la, da, 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 da. Hooked on a feeling. It was hooked on a feeling? You're right. Well, I'm going to dance in the acid, so there. Boy, it doesn't even splash right. The splash left? 
I took your throne. I took the throne. Hey, did you defeat the captain? Uh, I defeated the captain and I'm four Tholian short. Uh, less Forky, sad. Did you defeat the captain? Yes, I got him. Ah, but did you get credit for defeating him? Yes, I got him. Yay. 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 Oh, I should probably leave the map, huh? Gosh, <laughs> gosh, my gosh. Well, well, there is that, yes. Easier to that. I'm still trying to get over what I ever had last week, so. Are you feeling any better? No, because I had to work. The bubonic plague. <laughs> That's what you had, the bubonic plague. Blue Swede was a. Blue Swede were a Swedish rock band. Blue Swede was a Swedish rock band fronted by Bjorn Skiffs, which was active between 1973 and 1979. And your BJ Thomas song hooked on a feeling, so yay. They also did Never My Love. Oh my. Never heard that one. You've never heard? Know. Oh, of course you have. Nope, never have. I only just got ears like three or four days ago. Oh, thank goodness. Whew. Uh, it doesn't look like anything. Some of this I can translate a little bit. I have to keep on um, moving my soul from one body to the other because they just keep on melting. Well, their other hits were De Vi Som Spelar Poskivan. Uh huh. Yeah, I have no idea either. It's in tight. Yeah. I don't do <laughs> Swedish. I only do a little bit of. Uh, Danish. Of course, they did a cover of Na Na Hey Hey Kiss Him Goodbye. So, yeah. Oh, which was on that album. Do, 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 do. So, Mustafar, I don't really want to spend any time on it, but there, if you want to like actually talk on Discord, I can explain what cult cultural appropriation actually is and how racists would be terrified to even talk about it. It's not as, as cut and dry as people want to, want to assume it is. <clears throat> Without going into it too far, my favorite thing is a woman in a train station just chewing the heck out of another person in the train station for having dreads, not realizing that many cultures, many, many, many cultures have dreads. And brains. I have for dreads. Matter. So it's... Just I'm an incubus and I have dreads. That's the way you just did your hair at one time. Yes, Loki, we just had a walk, dear. I know, you don't believe me, but we really did have but a walk. But I want another one! We've had two since I got home three and a half hours ago. And she's looking at me like, Whoa. I'll be right back. Well, no, okay. Anyone who didn't wash their hair for sometimes months on ends had dreadlocks. So that includes every culture. There, problem solved. This dog is insane. I happen to have quite a bit of a um, background in uh, Norse history and mythology, and uh, there's there's reasons for the dread for the dreadlocks in uh, in Norse mythology. They have different purposes, and you have different looks, and to do different things. But that would require people to actually, you know, understand that hair had a purpose. It's always had a purpose. Generally, to keep stuff off, or keep your head warm, but come here, you crazy dog. Ah! <clears throat> yeah, WC, the first time I heard of a safe space was when there was going to be a somebody speaking on a college campus, and so they created a safe space for the people who didn't want to participate 
where they would have pillows and balloons and coloring books and stuff so they could feel comfortable and unthreatened. And I swear to God, I laughed because I thought it was a joke. It has well, it is a joke because if you're doing it in public with people that may that definitely have a social anxiety over a particular issue, but you feel you have to do it around other people, that's not a safe space. Hi, Pi. Thank you for your money. Pi has just subbed for forty-three months. That means, oh my God, that means we're going on. That means we've almost been here for four years. Holy crap! That's a long Take time. Take my money. Yes. Thank you, Pi. And say uh, have a great night if you're not going to stick around and visit with us. I assume you're back to work this week, since I think you were off last week. I swear, though, I, I will be over relatively soon. I will buy the first round and the first smorderbrot and some ost and some ul and um, I think you're the making words it up. I can say. Is, and is. I will buy an is. I think you're making it up at this point. I always am. It's Narnian. It's Narnian. The the funny thing is, for reasons I can't go into, we have we will probably have to send somebody over to Europe like immediately to do something for work. And it doesn't matter who it is, it could be anybody, and now I'm just kicking myself that I let my passport lapse. It can, can be me. You don't work for the company. That's the problem. Oh. Well you could change that. Okay. <laughs> Waffle is mid Okay, I have no idea. No parts of those words. Waffle is mid five kugler bloodiscum ad. I don't know how to say that last word. I want you to. Iltikaj? I, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Excuse me. Waffle ice cream with five scoops, whipped cream, and jam. Oh, I should have known s jam. I should have known it well, was... Well, I, I knew waffle was waffle. But um, in my fridge is silt, uh, lingonberry silt. And I was looking at that yesterday when I was in the fridge. Going, uh, you know, what can I put some lingonberries on? I didn't realize it goes really good on oatmeal. Since we got back to our talk about oatmeal from the beginning of the day. So oatmeal and lingonberries. And if you've never had lingonberries, it's a great excuse to go to Ikea. Then there's never a good reason to go to Ikea. They have lingonberries. But there's never a good reason to go to Ikea. <clears throat> okay, is would be ice cream, the IS. Med with five kugler, that's uh, five scoops. Flood scum, flood, flood, flood. Uh, that's cream. I know that one because we had that discussion the other day. Flood, flood. It literally means the scum of the cream. It is not the scum. Of that's cream. literally what it means. That's not the cream. top. It is the stuff that, that the floats top. on top. That's the fine stuff. The top of the cream. You know, the cream of the crop. Yes, it's still scum because it's what sticks to the top. It is not scum. It, it is. It, I mean, it sounds gross, but it's true. That's what it is. I like running people's imaginations and dreams and what have you. What I find really fascinating is how it much... It is foam. It's the stuff that sticks to the top. Which in a swamp is called what? It's not in a swamp. It's in a bowl. Uh-huh. It's a body of water that it does, is, mean does not happen. It means foam. Foam, no, it foam, foam. Dag, nope. It. Foam. Nope. Nope. We hate children. <laughs> I'm just trying to be as difficult as possible. <clears throat> okay, come on, WC. Chicken egg is basically chicken fetus. Is it? And technically, milk is actually a form of sweat. So, I mean, let's, yes. let's get well, really into blood. that one being just Sweat and blood. Just ruined it for Okay, hang on. It's pie. Look at that one. <gasps> oh, pie. We we are going to go have some fun. <sighs> How come I'm not invited? Just click on the link. That looks like sushi. No, it's uh, like beef tartare. Which looks like sushi. Except with, with cow. It's cow sushi. 
cow sushi. <laughs> Those look like capers and onions and mustard and weirdly enough shrimp. So, I'm not a huge fan of of beef. I'm not a huge fan of beef either, but this looks delicious. <clears throat> the problem with beef is that I've had deer and I've had bison and it's just num num num. We can go there, pie. Come during the summer. Do, 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 do. I've only been to Tivoli once. That would be fun to go back there. So that's a lot of things. Well, you um, have to eat them all. No. No, I did. It, it, it was a requirement. Board King upgrade weekend ended about noon today. And I, I knew it. I knew it was last weekend. What yeah. during this last week? Yeah. I did. But so... I was saying that um, that uh, upgrade weekend was coming up. I'm like, it's, it was happening right now. It was. <laughs> to me, my we I didn't really have a weekend, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. What is this time off stuff you talk about? Let's see, bread. Grass bread. seeds ground into powder, then partially eaten by fungal microorganisms, baked and served with overwhipped modified sweat from a cow. Yeah. There you go. How do you modify sweat? Well, breast milk, whether it's from a cow or a person, is a modified sweat gland. So if milk is modified sweat. Sounds nasty. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm seriously considering getting a few quails. I'd have the room where we had the small chicken. I had quail at a fancy schmancy dinner once, and not something I'd care to eat again. <laughs> okay, Pi, what have we got an image of now? Ooh. Do, 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 do. Huh? Yum e. Now we've got <clears throat> some open face sandwiches. One of the weird things when I was in Denmark the last time was open face sandwiches are very common, but one thing that they put on them would be aspic, which is gelatin made with the, uh, usually meat stock and clarified so it's beautiful and crystal clear and looks like little bits of shimmering jewel on top. But American aspic tastes or has the texture of rubber, and it's very hard once you've had bad aspic to ever want to do it again. And grudgingly, I had it like the second to the last day I was there and just started kicking myself because of how delicious it was. All right, so WC has gone on with that one with, let's see here. No, not there. There we go. Um, egg sandwich. Take that bread, then add some chicken periods. Oh my God, WC, that's disgusting. <laughs> That's just gross. I'm operating on like two hours of sleep, so I apologize if I'm saying weird things. So quail, but... eggs, quail eggs. We need like 73 to make a decent omelet, though. But guess what? What? I may be absolutely pain-free in a couple of weeks. Sweet. You need to talk to uh, Von Marcus. He's got pain issues and health issues. <clears throat> Uh, we did uh, Alpha Stim today. Did you? And wow. I mean, I felt like I had to vomit the entire time, but there wasn't any pain involved. Mm -hmm. But that's supposed to happen. Your body is getting used to the new wavelength. <clears throat> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're. we're... You've shown me pictures from that one, Pi. We're definitely going there. The thing with going to Denmark, though, the last time I was there, while we ate a absolute ton, we didn't have a car, so we walked every place. Green-eyed furs! Hi, Green! How are you doing, sweetie? Welcome aboard. Green-eyed? Yeah, green-eyed. I like green-eyed fur, although how do you have fur that has eyes? That she seems weird. It's it's scary. So green eyed goes way back in the fleet, way back in the day. 
I had a conversation with, with my daughter today that I wasn't expecting to have. She was completely convinced that there were shadow men following them. And so instead of, <clears throat> you know, you know, doing the common thing of ignorant people not understanding that children see things that they see and you can't, you can't ignore just because you don't agree with it. And so I explained the, uh, the concept of pareidolia. Mm hmm. And for anybody that doesn't know what pareidolia is, it's you're basically seeing the end of your nose, and you think you see uh, people in the background. It's because we want to see patterns in everything that we do, and sometimes we mistake it for people because we're used to seeing people. It's the human brain's ability to see patterns in things, which probably evolved as part of our survival techniques, but now it lets us see things that aren't necessarily there. So I had to explain to um, a, a 12 year old that she can't trust her own vision. Yeah, I know that's really hard. <laughs> so I don't I don't know how to win that one, but I mean, they're not mad at me. So I, I did something there. Pie, you're not allowed to leave. You just you just became a tier three sub. So you got to sit there and absorb all the punishment. That's that's part and parcel of the whole gig. And you have to pay for the privilege. If you've never seen Jesus Toast, you can't really appreciate pareidolia. Pair 145? That's early, man. You, you work for a living, so you're allowed to go to sleep. But it's always awesome to see you, Pi. And again, I apologize. I'm on two hours of sleep. <laughs> it's 1.45 a.m., yeah. I can appreciate that. Yes, the psychology of visual illusions. And as I said, it, it's something that evolved. Take care, Pi. Sleep well. And it's also one of the interesting things that we can see patterns um, for those of us who do analysis of data the ability of our minds to see patterns and put them together without, you know, consciously processing them is really, really a neat skill. I used to do numerative theory, mm -hmm. which is basically looking at massive volumes of numbers and then coming up with, you know, rational patterns in them. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't work. I don't care what anybody says. I'm thoroughly <laughs> convinced it's, it's not supposed to work. But... Plenty of people say it does. Well, my problem is, and I have to be very aware of it, I can see patterns in things. And I have to step back from seeing patterns in things because just because I see the pattern in things doesn't mean the data is revealing a pattern. It's just my brain puts it there. Out of a rock? Pardon? How do I get my ship out of a rock? Back up? No. What do you mean, no? I Magic. No, because I I've entered the... Last... Stuck. I entered a, a, a TFO thing yeah. and it put in a rock. Type slash stuck. Yeah, forward slash stuck. Okay. No. <clears throat> Bail. On an objective level, our vision isn't very good or anything, but the center is low resolution. My vision is terrible when compared to others, which is usually pretty good. It's the filtering that removes the crap well, we me. don't need. But when that fails, it fails spectacularly. <laughs> so true. Exactly, Mushtafar. I could not have said it better myself. And I, if I had had more sleep, I probably would have been able to. Did you get out of the rock? No, I'm still in the rock. He's still in a rock. Has the TFO started? Yes. And did you fly into the rock, or it just put you there? It put me there. Which one are you doing? Oh, one of the swarm ones. The uh, there's only one swarm one. It's... You know the one, uh, one of the gamma quadrant ones. Yeah, it's oh, are you up in the um... gathering? I'm doing the gathering one. Okay, so you're up in the gamma quadrant then. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just sit there and wait for it all to finish. Hi, Mister Dave. 
I can attack things, but I can't move out. <laughs> it's like I'm a turret in the rock. So WC says, I know what I saw. No, you know what your brain interpreted you saw based on psychology, physiology, what your <clears> mind was trying <throat> to interpret fears and experiences. Yes. Yes, indeed. That is so true. This is why Perry Mason wins all these wonderful cases. But when you go in and, and, and you explain it also to helps the, that it's a fictional character. It also helps when you go into a court case where you've got a uh, jury and you explain to them that despite the fact 16 people are going to give testimony saying they saw something, the worst form of evidence is that kind of testimony. I saw this. Well, no. You might or might not have seen it, and you may have re reinterpreted it over time. So you can swear that you saw this person, and then if there's any hard evidence, like a camera, and it shows it's somebody else, well, your brain doesn't work that way. <clears throat> I, mean, I can remember doing things that I never did. But I remember Visual that. observation is never considered empirical. Yeah. Ghost Creek, the floorboards in the spooky haunted house. Meanwhile, in a brand new house, it was just the house settling. Exactly. Can anybody tell me why visual evidence can, can, cannot be considered empirical? Because it's not quantifiable? No. What's it's because it isn't completed. Uh, it can't be corroborated by instrumentation. Oh, that's reasonable. Well, I defeated my 10 perk at least. Yay! <laughs> but I can't do it. I can't help destroy the capital ship of like stuck to this rock. Well hopefully they'll defeat it and you'll get freed. Yeah I never think I of broke going in this ship. Alright, hang on. Just got an alert here from Creation Entertainment. Creation Entertainment, fifty seven year mission STLV has added a new guest, Todd Stashwick. Who's that? Captain Shaw I'll be from the card. Oh, I like him. Well, he's going to be at the Vegas show. Oh. I don't know if I'll be at the Vegas show. That's a whole different story. If I go, you're still just, deciding. Yeah, it's um, it'll depend a lot on how my husband's doing. Everything, my entire life is based around two things needing to happen or Empirical not happen. Empirical research assignments. That's the way it should be. Wow, I just did something like I should have thought of like 10 seconds ago. Which was? I have the freaking cross shield ship. I could have used my damn <laughs> Borg drive thing to move myself. That's I don't it. think that's true. WC, I think that if, if you're under the impression that students aren't able to understand full experiments, then, yeah, they're not going to understand full experiments because it's your job as a teacher to teach them how to think. Not what to think, but how to think. Come up with their own ideology. Because everybody had to start somewhere. It's interesting, though. Um, in high school, we were told to do experiments, but we weren't told how to. First thing when I got into college, which admittedly was a few years later, was working on how to set up an experiment and why you set it up in X manner. <clears throat> it was a really interesting class. I enjoyed that teacher. Is it the, the philosophy of philosophy? No, I took that class too. That one sucked. That was right yeah. down there with philosophy. I actually University. think that should be a required course <laughs> because philosophy has a purpose. And if you don't understand the purpose, then it's not something you're going to be interested in. It's like an artist draws things a specific way. A musician plays an instrument a specific way. A scientist studies something a specific way. These are all philosophies. But if you don't understand it or you don't know how it came to be, then this isn't something you can possibly understand. Which leads me to what happened last week when I was talking to my therapist and he wanted to know something about truth. And I'm like... <laughs> Well, are we talking Matt Dillahunty truth, or are we talking you and me chit-chatting truth? And fortunately, he found that amusing. He's going into philosophic, scientific, mathematical, all the different levels of what is truth? Oh, my, truth. Therapist won't. my therapist conveniently cancels our appointments because I force him to explain the things that he, that he tries to say to me. 
and he can't do it. But I'm the bad guy here. So a light conversation. Yes, indeed, I <laughs> see. Definitely a light conversation. But we don't come here for light conversations. We come here to beat the crap out of things. Would anyone like to uh, go shoot stuff? Um, yes. What would oh, you like to shoot? In the game. Yeah, well, that, that too. In real life. That too. Reminds me of the uh, year that my boss asked me to set up the entertainment for our huge annual event where we brought in people from around the world to go to a two-day party and technically a meeting, but we never talked about anything new. And he said, well, what are we going to do for entertainment? Well, last year we did bowling, and the year before that we did something else. So this year I find a place where we can um, go to a bar and do beer tasting, and then we can go to an axe-throwing place. Ten people is better than ten case studies? I don't understand that. But I agree with you, most of far. I think that the biggest problem in science is that we don't know what science is, and so we make guesses. Priority clearance recognition, and Alpha then one. our guesses become the science that we. <clears throat> Muscle far, thank you very much for the subscription. We appreciate it. In three months, very awesome. Medicine and others would be a lot better for a long time for. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to argue too much with that one. Yeah, a um, great part of my nursing class was understanding when a case or a white paper had garbage. So we had to go through and find articles and then analyze not the results, but the methodology involved. Why would I, uh, this isn't disparaging nurses, but why would you need to have a white a white paper in front of you? They wanted isn't us that to, they the wanted responsibility us... of the doctor? Pardon? Isn't that the responsibility of the doctor no. to look at new methodologies and teach? No, because as part of the nursing class, you had to understand the logic underlying things. So, for example, statistics was a class for nursing. Uh, chemistry, organic chemistry, regular chemistry, uh, A and P things, uh, nutrition, math, teaching, all these things were oh, related. Hold on a second. Let me back. Just not directly related. <laughs> Four case studies into statistics. Yeah, four case studies is, no. <clears throat> Unless each case study has got like a thousand people involved. But yeah, why wouldn't you have uh, understanding how research is done as part of nursing? Good nurse worth her or his salt needs to be able to hold their own against a doctor because honestly doctors are just people too oh yeah absolutely and it's not just a study on general care elderly care etc um, if she's an RN then she's probably had semesters and probably even some specialty coursework on them uh, my son when he was in the hospital for uh, cardiac issues he had a great nursing team because he really saw the doctors, but the nurses were in there with him a lot. And they knew their stuff. And having been a nursing student, I could appreciate that. But then I went into just blood banking and probably spent two years of study just on blood banking. What did Mark Twain say? There's three kinds of, I can't remember his term, three kinds of liars, but liars, damned liars, and statistics. Yeah, remember how I was talking about pattern identification? You get enough numbers into a piece of paper and I can find a pattern there that doesn't make it a legitimate statistic. And this gets really difficult when you're starting to do like, um, values and things like that and I'm looking at this and seeing there's outliers uh, across the board on things but if you go through and see the p-values the outliers are well within the regular uh, bell curve it's just, but 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 they're wrong okay yeah it's fine but it's not fine enough so my sister-in-law is a nurse in intensive care neurology holy crud yeah yeah, uh, I used to work with nurses in NICU. 
Not that I was ever, well, I wasn't there a couple of times, but no, I did not want to be in that department any longer than I had to be. How you can do that is amazing. Statistics are useless without the methodology. The understanding is the method. Unemployment stats only make sense by reading the methodology, which is why most people, including politicians, get them so badly wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't trust politicians to understand math. So most are far, since you've got nursing and nurses floating around around you, what do you do, pray tell? And I don't work as a nurse anymore. I've been out of it for way too long. I loved the blood banking aspect of it and realized almost immediately after spending four years studying that I didn't like the patient care part of it, which is kind of the not where you go with nursing. Which is why I'm such a pleasant person around my ill husband right now. It's like, I'm not going to do this for you. Not dead yet. You can do it for yourself. <laughs> A tax credit means there's money sitting in a bank account. Holy crud. Yeah, I, I can get that. Um, you know how they say opposites attract? That's definitely there. Now, I loved my nurse when I was in the hospital for a while and decided that's what I wanted to do. And then went out there and started doing it and went, ooh, no, 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 no. I, I like blood banking because your patients are either healthy or they're so close to death that they've got them sedated and they're not moving. I know that sounds grim, but that's what it was. <clears throat> Yeah, well, that just goes back to LC2 opposites. Says, if you don't have different tastes and things, what is there to talk about at the end of the day? Did we lose Board King too? Is everybody? No, board? I'm here. Oh, you're still there. I'm huh? just. You hadn't said anything for a while, so I thought maybe we lost you. <clears throat> Long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody just loves to chat about things they enjoy. So, yeah, why not? I actually I'm just doing whatever. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, after so many weeks of way too many events and dailies, and yada, 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 it's kind of nice to not have any have anything to do. Speaking though of not having anything to do, in case you are not aware, and you need to do your daily events and you don't feel like doing anything, if you go to private and you go to Battle at the Binary Stars, you can run it as a solo, and you can AFK it. Don't tell anyone you can do this, or they'll take it away from us again. You don't even have to die. You can just sit there and move off there. But if you die, it'll just go through. Just let it go. It's like 12 minutes long. Oh, and it's done. My wife asked me why I am not with one of my colleagues, since we understand each other so well, and I have so much more in common with her. There are issues with that. For one, it might get boring. The second is that we had one thing too much in common. We both prefer women. Okay, yep, yeah, that, that could be a problem. Not necessarily, but okay. I have absolutely no idea what my husband's interests are after being married for 40 plus years. You know, we moved in one direction when we met each other, then we moved in a different direction, then we kind of split up, and then events happened, and so we're just, we're swimming in the same ocean, but not necessarily in the same pool. But the nice thing is I've got friends who've got things that they enjoy that I can talk with, WC, Pi, uh, Frost, Board King. And what we all like to talk about 
might not be the same thing that I talk with Borking about one thing, like his love of great music, but I talk with Pi about other things because we have other interests in, that we share. In WC, we have other interests that we share. So rather than having it all kind of focused on my husband, it's kind of spread out and it's all these things all over the place. Did we lose Frost? Yeah, he said he had to go away for a moment. Oh, okay. I didn't even hear him say anything. Nope. <laughs> My mind. He yeah. excused himself oh, five minutes ago. Sometimes he goes. Really? Away. I wasn't paying attention, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did disappear there. Well, come on, folks. I'm relying on you to keep this conversation going. Either, either we have more conversation or we're going to go off and shoot things. Totally up to you. Yeah, I, I'm going to tell you that is the recipe for disaster. Interestingly, I met my husband when he hired me for a job. And after he left that company and started to work for a different company, we started dating. But yeah, um, it was okay. But the few arguments we've ever had have been related to when we worked in the same place. It was not fun. Never worked in the same place with the one you bought. Yeah, really don't do it. Well, I'll take that back. There's probably some cases where maybe you and your significant other decide you're going to do a restaurant together. But even then, it gets really challenging. They added an admiralty ship to the uh, mining thing on fleet. What? An admiralty yeah, like you, ship? Yeah, if you go to where you can get the um, the miners, there's an admiralty ship called the the, the, the FMF Purple Drems. Oh, oh, where did you get this? Okay, if you go to the fleet dilithium okay. place, you know. And you and you go to where you buy your uh, Frangi miner, duty officer, Uridian, and Horda miner. Okay, guess what I duty always officers? never do is go to the fleet mines. Hang on, let me grab a tune who even knows where they are. But just so everyone knows, it costs five hundred thousand credit, fleet credit, and five and one hundred thousand dilithium in order to buy this admiralty ship, and it's purple. Purple, purple for a hundred thousand to lithium. Five hundred thousand fleet credits isn't gonna kill me, but let's yeah, see. <laughs> let's see if we can get over there. We'll take a look at it. At least yeah, I'm there right. you. I'm right I'm I'm there right now on my character. Let's see what that's gonna do for us. I'm on the screaming and lead us, so <laughs> okay. you won't if you're on scream and lead us right now, you won't do, see. Do, 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 like, do, 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 do. Uh Let's see, let me jump back here. WC says, I worked with a woman who, early in her life, decided to never marry and focused on friendships. She was a total socialite in her circle. One Monday, I said she looked like she'd been partying all weekend. She had. Lunch on Saturday turned into a barbecue, turned into a late-night jazz club, Sunday breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner. She needed a break from her weekend. With respect to my bosses, my, uh, the two owners of the company are married. And they love each other dearly. And I, I love you guys. I really do love you guys. But there will be times they are literally screaming at each other in their offices, which is right next to where I sit. And it's very difficult to hear people who love each other talking to each other that way. But they're fine with it. It's just very difficult. So I think it takes a special kind of person. And I'm not that person. All right, let's see where we're going here. By the way, WC, I'm cleaning out the freezer here in the fridge, which definitely needs to be cleaned out. We've made, Loki and I have made two trips to haul stuff from the freezer and fridge to the garbage. And now my entire apartment reeks of garlic. 
You love garlic? I love garlic too, but right now it's one of those. Whew. A little much. Oh, well, excuse me. Loki is sitting on my lap on a pillow so that uh, it's a little less pressure on my legs. And I moved, and she's like, huh, how dare you? How dare you move? I'm the dog. I am in charge here. I'm, I, I, like I said, I, I love them dearly. Truly do. Given my current situation, I could not ask for two more compassionate and understanding people. Actually, the entire office is compassionate and understanding. But it's still weirder than heck. Alrighty, let's see. I want to go to the surface. Takes a little while to get here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't go here too often. All right, so. Yeah, I know. I, you said I'm gonna look for a Ferengi. No, look. Um, um, look for the lady that sells the miners. Sells the miners. Um, yeah. It's called personnel officer. It's called what? A personnel. It's a, she's oh, a personnel, personnel officer. Yeah. Let's see. That's a tailor. It should be um, when you're when you come in. It would be a, a right, the right of everything when you come in. I've got a requisition duty officer. Let's see, she's a personnel officer. There we go. Yep. Okay, so we're at the store here. There's an Admiralty ship here, the FMS Purple Drama. Purple? No, Purple Drems. 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 Wow. That's well. What does it get me? I don't know about that morality shit. <laughs> okay, and here's we the description know. on it. Drems, <clears throat> Drems, Drems. I paid good Latinum for that custom registry paint job, and they spelled it wrong. <laughs> but it doesn't tell you what you get for it. Well. Okay, let's go look at what the FMS Purple is. <laughs> purple. Purple Drems. Okay, the FMS. Oh, here we go. Got it. Um, it's. The Wonder. So there's a couple of them, I guess. Okay, New Fleet Holding, Ultra Rare Admiralty Ship Card. Oh, so here we go. Here, I found it. You got it, too? It, I found it. It's a, it's, it's a cork-class vessel. Mm -hmm. Um, It's, well, I think it's, there's... yeah, uh, 58 uh, Engineering, 34 Tactical, 34 Science, and then it's a uh, plus- 20 Psy and Tac went alone. Right, so there's actually six of them. There's one at the embassy, the RRW Havron, which oh. is engineering 39, Tac 41, Psy 45, and minus 25% oh, yeah. maintenance. The mines is the purple drums. Research oh, is the antiquity. The, yeah. The spire is the VSS Trudon. And K13 is the USS Reykjavik. And the colony is the LSS Hukat. So very interesting. So if you wanted to get them all, that's six of them. That's three million fleet credits plus six hundred thousand refined dilithium. But I think it's across the account. These are not individual, right? No, uh, you'd have to buy them, and I think these are individual. No, you can't possibly have to buy them for each one. Our per character unlock. That's what it says. <gasps> 
No, no, I'm not spending 600,000 to lithium. <laughs> that. Per character. <laughs> per character. Not a chance. And that would be, and then that would be three million fleet credit per character. I don't even think. I think only one character has three million credits. <laughs> you know, I'm, I could afford it, but I've got better things to spend my money on. Thank you very much. Yeah, Terry Pratchett. Yes, it, indeed, the Prid of Ankh Moor Park, Moor Pork. Oh, I wonder when they added those because I've never seen those I've before. Never, well, I should have kept that thing up there that I was just looking at because it had a date on it. Oh, wait, I did. Okay. Doesn't say. Uh, hang on, but mine will. History. La, 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 la. So the article in um, Star Trek Online Reddit is dated six months ago. And all the comments are dated six months ago. So I'm going to say six months ago. Okay, wow. <clears throat> While we were at the convention. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, because I'm on the uh, uh, stlfandom.com. Oh, has everybody um, seen the new stlwiki.net? I put something in the... Uh, that's really cute. I might have to buy those when I have some money. So I sent out a, uh, e or a message to everybody that there is a new wiki out there, which I didn't say, but it's stowwiki.net. It's by the same people who were running the previous uh, wiki, but one, there's a heck of a lot less ads. Oh, probably because I put too many commas in there. <coughs> But much cleaner, uh, really nice layout, and at the moment, no ads. Yay. But it so is... So I know what Purple Dreams was supposed to be named. Like, was it Purple Dreams or I Purple Dreams? I think Purple Dreams. Give me one second. That was a message from my child. Mom, come pick me up. Oh, wait. They're too old for that, right? <laughs> Oh, we lost Frost. Sorry about that. The joys of children who are at home. As I tell people, I am never having kids. <laughs> yeah, don't blame you. Do not blame you for that one. Then I hear people say, but kids are fun. Uh, yeah, I, I, oh, 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 I, oh, God, no, no, no. When I'm at work, I hear them scream. Yeah, they are not yeah, fun. They are annoying. Have... Yeah, every time <laughs> my husband and I would start even thinking about having kids, we'd go to the mall on a Saturday morning. <laughs> and it was like, yep, this is why we're not having children. So we we're, you know, we're going to have kids, no problems there. And then my aunt passed away and we decided that, oh, okay, I guess we're going to have kids. Because she was a lovely person and we figured you know, that awesome spirit was out there in the world someplace and we were going to recapture it and that would be our child. To the extent that um, our child was going to be named Ingrid because we absolutely knew it was going to be a girl. His name is Dan and he's not a girl. So... We were all surprised when the midwife's like, you might want to think about having a boy's name just in case. Okay, you know, I guess that's a good idea, but... Hello. Hello, hello. Hi, how are you doing? Hello. Doing well. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I know you sent a message while I was on the other day and I didn't respond and I apologize. It kind of just got spaced out. It's all good. Oh, good. Glad to it happens. Yeah. It, life's been interesting. Everything okay? No. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. But we can chat about that someday. Okay. And I owe you guys a dinner out here, so let's go out sometime. Okay. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Because we were talking about it, and we never got around to it, so I owe you one. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> He's okay. like, okay, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Muscle Far says, kids are not fun. Grandkids are fun. Uh, you can have the fun time, and when you're done, you can give them back. And Delisi says, nieces and nephews, too. Anytime you get to fill them up on red soft drink and lollies and hand them back to their parents. I'll be honest, I'm glad I'm gay. I don't like kids. Oh, I don't blame you. I, I like my son very much. But it, people would be like, well, you love your son, can't you babysit for us? No. Can you That's what my him? mom said. My mom said she hates other people's kids, yeah. but loved her own. So she yeah. said I would probably be the same way. Mm -hmm. But you, uh, you would if you decide you ever want to have kids. You'd probably love your own, but you'd still be like, ugh, to the rest of them. And there are people out there who are just amazing. They like all kids. They're great parents, great moms, great dads, great whatevers. I'm not that person. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Hey, I don't have anything against it. They all need to keep making more gay people, so... Yeah, it's, it's not like if you're gay, you're going to have gay kids, and it's not like if you're straight, you're going to have straight kids. I know, it doesn't but work that way. gay dudes aren't going to have kids on their own. Well, not on their own, no. no, no they need. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. Okay, we I, need I, all I, the <laughs> others to be making kids yeah, to absolutely. make gay kids. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Delisi says, I'm gay too, though I decided I didn't want children when I was 13 after volunteering at a daycare center. Yeah. <laughs> No kidding. Oh, so, I'm sorry. You want to be loud and rambunctious? Here, have a melatonin gummy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Peaceful Far day. Says, I've been playing taxi for some time for my nephew. Going to get him at 2 a.m. when he was out drinking. A few scenes I will never forget. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay, night-night, Mr. Dave. Take care. Oh... I think there should be a cutscene of your ship flying into space dock when you go to space dock. Uh, you know, it's one of those things. I think they do too many cutscenes sometimes already. Yes, yes, they so, do. But just seeing the just seeing your ship going to space dock would be cool. As long as they gave you the option to escape <clears throat> out of it, I'd be okay yeah. with it. Yeah, um, there's a few where it's just like, can we please not do, um, doing battle at the binary stars? And it's like, please, can we just escape this one? It's all right. Long. Lord Vale says you get that in Eve Online, and it gets old. It sure does. It's and Andy that Online. guy in the battle of the binary stars talks like this. I know. I could never get into Eve Online. I, I, I tried it several times. I just it's a huge investment of time. I mean, we think this is time investment, but that's a huge time investment. And yeah. you get into a battle and your ship gets destroyed. Okay, all that time's gone. You have to start from scratch. Mm -hmm. And no thanks. My brother spent like, I'd say like hundreds and thousands of dollars on the game. And I think he lost it all. Yeah. On one of on a battle, yeah, because I, yeah. like, <clears throat> to me, that's just I, that I lose a ship, but 15 seconds later, it's back. Okay, and I might have to spend, you know, one of my magic heals to get it better. And those are just so hard to come by. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like they don't drop all the time. Spare parts. Speaking of things dropping all the time, I'm really enjoying the uh, Klingon recruit thingy because it's dropping the lithium boxes anytime there's a recruit in the TFO. Ooh. Yeah. It's only 25, but still, I've had as many as 12 drops, so that's an extra 300. Yeah. So it's not bad. So WC says, I know a gay couple that had a child via surrogacy. More accurately, that one is the father and the other is adoptive. They're supposed to be really close to being able to take the genetic material out of a sperm and put it in a donor egg. So you literally could have the genetic material of two fathers making the child. 
or it could be interesting. I know Is they can a... do it with, uh, they can make girls that way with mother's eggs. Yeah, it's a little bit easier, though, because the egg exists. So trying to switch out the DNA inside the egg might get challenging. Question. Yes. Is there a discovery ship in the fleet of store? You know, like mm. the spearhead? Like, Is there or a discovery like fleet, fleet models? Yeah, I think yeah. so. No. No. Oh. Yeah, a lot of the, like, uh, special, because all the fleet, the mm. those spearheads in uh, Crossfield class and all that, those are either legendary or they're special drop ships out of lockboxes. Ah. Um, typically, your tier sixes that you can purchase uh, for Zen, a lot of those can sometimes have, but even here recently, they've not been doing fleet models of those. Oh, that's too bad. Ouch. Oh my, holy crud, I have an adamant. I didn't know I had an adamant. Where did I get that from? Oh, the total anniversary. That's why. Okay. What is it? <laughs> I bought the 12th anniversary strictly so I could get a costume. Oh. And never even looked at the ships. I just bought it recently. I'm Priorities. wanting to get the World Razor. You want the World Razor? Finally, this thing comes out. I still have some of the old uh, lockbox ships that aren't really around anymore. No, USS Pizza Cutter. You know, I've got the Star Trek Pizza Cutter where the uh, saucer <clears> station <throat> is the blade. Uh, I'm such yeah. a nerd. Yeah. I'm such a nerd. Uh, to be undiplomatic about it, apart from the benefit of people not expecting gay people to have children, there's plenty of kids who need to be adopted. Why not put that the money put into all that medical dramatics into a child who already exists and needs love and care? I'm not going to argue that with you. You're you're absolutely right. Uh, the answer to that is a lot of adoption agencies are uh, through churches. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they tend to not like gay people. Well... Yeah. I just know too many kids who were not adopted. No, I I completely agree with you. I'm I'm I fully my boyfriend was uh adopted. So uh absolutely great thing to do. Definitely would not discourage that. Yeah. I have a few acquaintances who were adopted, but um No one that I consider to be a close friend, so it's mm -hmm. it just wasn't a thing here, or that wasn't talked about when I was growing up, because it was like ooh adopted, versus these days when it's compared to all the options that are out there. Mm -hmm. No big surprise. And my uh, sister adopted her best friend's two kids when she was diagnosed with cancer and passed like two days later. Oh. So her kids had grown up with my sister's kids, so that was an easier transition, but it was still rough. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, the NC-1701 pizza cutter. Absolutely beautiful. Yay. Sunny Ozell was saying that she bought one for her husband and sings the theme song when she's slicing pizza for him, which I just think... So I know what the F looks like. I want to know what the D, H, and I look like. E, H, and I? What about the G? I said G, H, oh, and I. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, what does the E look like? The E. That's the Sovereign Cross. That's the Sovereign. Oh, is it? Oh, that's right, it is. Yeah. Duh. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, Brian. The F is the Odyssey. Mm hmm. Which I still think needs to be the next Hallmark ornament for next Christmas. Oh, that would be so great. Wouldn't it? I, I think we need to start a campaign because. If they're not in production now, they will be shortly. They did not do a ship this year. You know what they're probably going to do? They are probably going to end up doing something like uh, Titan A or B or whatever Titan is. Yeah. Or the Vo But, 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 but. Okay, Lord Vail says, If I'm willing and wanting to spend some money on Stowe after getting a character to max rank, 
Where's what's a good place to start? It seems complex. I know I can buy ships, but also keys for lock boxes. Don't buy keys for lock boxes. That would be my yeah. Thing. As... I would say you're probably better off uh, finding ships you like. Uh, I would tell you to. There's a few things you want to look at. Each of them usually have something unique to them, particularly the starship trait. Also, look at the consoles. Mm -hmm. Uh, see if the consoles can be used in any ship, or if they're specifically only in certain ones, because there are some like that, uh, when making your decision. Uh, the other thing would be, um, pay attention, some have, like, experimental weapons. Some will unlock different sorts of, uh, hangar pets you can get. Mm -hmm. Uh, just be paying attention to see what you want. Uh, definitely do your research before you drop money and spend Zen to get what you want. That said, there's a couple of bundles out there that I think are worth the money, and <clears throat> this one would be the 10th anniversary bundle. Absolutely. The legendary ones? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That I... gives you a great, and that gives you a ton of starship <laughs> traits yes. because of rank 6 that you can get in the starship mastery. Uh, that'll give you, like, a whole bunch of traits that you can get from a bunch of other ships. And it unlocks the look of those other ships. So you don't even need to buy those other ships. And you get all the consoles that came with them. Yeah. But, so that would be a great investment. But wait till it's on sale. Correct. I mean, it's a great package, even if you don't buy it on sale. But if you buy it on sale, it's such a much Absolutely. Value. I do not regret. That is one of the purchases I do not regret. Mm-hmm. Any of the legendary packs that I have purchased, I do not regret. I, I would like to get the 13th anniversary, but I'm going to wait till it really goes on sale. 25% off isn't quite enough. Uh, the 12th anniversary has got some great stuff on it. But... I'm really interested in that, uh, the, uh, the, the one everyone is, the Prometheus lookalike. I haven't played with it yet. I want to. I've not bought it yet. Ah. But I think you can also purchase each of those ships individually as well. Uh, you can purchase, so, if I remember correctly, you can purchase some of them, but not all. I think I saw that's one you can purchase oh, for it? like 3,000 okay. Zen. Okay. One thing I really wish they would do if you do that, though, I wish it would take a look and that it would actually reduce the total cost by the amount of Zen that you purchase the thing. Because even if you purchase the pack as a whole when mm -hmm. it's not on sale, yeah. you're still taking, you're still paying way more to get all the others. It, I just yeah, think yeah. they should reduce the price every one of those you own. Kind of like how they do if you buy out an event. It gives you credit for the number of yeah, participations a, a you've done. So basically, I'm looking at ships been considered the traits and consoles, too. I mm -hmm. took the Explo Cruiser retrofit at level 61, so might look at completing that console set. Yeah, absolutely. If you always max out everything, it doesn't take any effort to max out a ship. Nope. Just a little bit of, uh, um, patrols. Sorry. Words. Yeah, hard. If, if you're ever in a pinch, grab somebody and who's got more firepower than you, go run a patrol on advanced or elite, mm -hmm. and you should be able to max it out in two to three patrols. Mm -hmm. But just take one person to do it. Don't make it a big team. It doesn't work better as a team. Um, yeah, so a lot of times the consoles are actually much more interesting than the ships. So, for example, mm -hmm. the DPRM is a console that you will want if you are running a big, high DPS beam overload type ship. It only comes on one ship. It comes on the Atlas, the prototype Atlas. I can't remember the name of it. Oh, yeah. Which is almost impossible to get right now. It's it's in the lock boxes, and when people get them, they do put them on the exchange. So a lot of times, if there's a ship that you want for a specific reason, it will wind up on the exchange. It is the uh, particularly console-universal-dynamic power redistributor module. And you, you do want that. Absolutely. I've yeah. got it. And one cool thing, 
if you end up purchasing um, the tenth anniversary package on the um, the one that's the equivalent of the NXO one, mm -hmm. uh, you get the the what is it? I have it on mine right now, just simply for the the point defense bombardment warhead, and that gives you the two set. Which, uh, so the dynamic power redistributor module increases your directed energy damage by 19%. Um, uh, the clicky gives you plus 40% bonus damage while above 80% hull. The two piece with the other, the point defense warhead module I told you about, gives you an additional 33% of phaser, disruptor, or plasma damage on your energy weapons. So, absolutely very powerful. I'm looking to see where I cleverly stashed my uh, atlas. I put it someplace safe. I have a question. Yes? Does the lockbox still have the Herald Vomp Dreadnought Carrier? I thought that was the Lobby ship. Is it not? No, I think that is an Infinity ship. Okay. An Infinity lockbox would have that. Yeah. I think. Okay. An Infinity will have everything pretty much except the current lockbox ships, if I remember correctly. Right. Right. So everything that's gone out previously is in the Infinity boxes, unless they've retired. I don't think they've retired the Vonf. No, because I saw that you could get that. Here recently. <clears throat> yeah, actually, that's a big issue, Lord Fail. When people spend money, real money, to buy things, and then they go out and nerf stuff, which is why we see more often that they nerf lobby, th or not lobby things, but um, uh, the lithium things for they nerf money things. Yeah. So a lot of times you'll see people playing a ton of equipment that's current and is going to get nerfed when they realize how me much it messes up the uh, the game. And then everybody gets upset because it gets nerfed, and then something else cool comes out. But often that's a uh, freebie. Uh, one of the things that's out for ground play right now is the, the Kumarki set, which was a freebie for doing an yeah. event. Which, it, let's be honest, is pretty OP, and you can really make it even better. And you don't have to spend money on it. It was a freebie. So if they nerf it, okay, we're out nothing. Right. Just thinking, where the heck did I put that ship? Hi, Chief Engineer. I'm on Nimbus. Ship upgrade. I've got that. That. I put it someplace. I put it someplace clever, I'm sure. I don't think I opened it up yet. I'm working on my... Nimbus Acts. Your Nimbus Switch? Huh? You said you're working on your Nimbus... Accolades. Oh, Accolades, yes! The Nimbus Accolades, one of my favorite things to work on. Well, I had to kill six Grand Captains for my uh, big endeavor thing today, so... The Frontier Medicine section of home will give you all six. Uh, I just went around to where I knew all the captains well, were. You for... could do that too. I, I used to do Nimbus, and I, but everybody else knew about Nimbus, especially if you go up to the stronghold, at the top of yeah. the staircase. That one will keep spawning for you. Uh huh. So that's fun, but everybody knows it spawns for you. So I think it was Board King who reminded me you can just go do that opening or uh, ground sequence in home. Oh yeah, the uh, the staging area. Yeah, and it'll yeah. give you all six. And if you get really bored, you just do the first sequence, beam up, come back down, start it over again. La 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 la. I have one more captain I need to for all the captain accolades. Oops. Have one more transporter I need. I've already done my nimble bar, uh, bar fly. You did uh, the whole rooftop sequence. Yup. Uh, Nimbus jaunt uh, jumped off the be or off the land bridge to land on the uh, Gorn. Barfly. 
did you do the whole sequence? Um, why are you climbing to the top of a mountain? That whole mess? Uh, I don't know about that one. Because there's I... ten of them that are kind of like story related. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm going to the installation whatever now to get that one and that cap. Uh, I did the one that's the cockpit one. Yeah, that's one of them. I don't remember a mountain one, though. Um, just before you get to the cockpit, um, as, you're, as you're running towards the stronghold, you can hang a really sharp right and go up a hill. Okay. I'll have to try that. Uh, then I... The only other one... You mentioned jumping down onto yeah. the Gorn? Yeah. Hang on one second. I have to follow up here with Mr. Dave. Just one. Nimbus John. I just need. Um, Lord Fail, I'm going to think of a ship that's readily available in game. Obviously, event ships are amazingly good for being free. Okay. So, what's a good ship you can pick up? That would be something he can play with. I love the Gagarin. Hi, Dante. The Gagarin is a really... It really is, but I don't know if it's a you-have-to-buy-it type ship. Uh, yes, it is. Mm. <clears throat> it's a 3000 Z. Yeah. This, it's actually a very nice ship. It is. So, um, let, let me find somebody around here. Are you Federation or KDF? Crestix, are you Federation or KDF? Oh, I'm on uh, KDF right now. I'm going to grab somebody. I'm going to come join you. We'll be there in just a moment. Okay. There is so much that you have to do, Lord Fail. So if you are not currently doing the meta event, number one, do the meta event. Yeah. Dante, jump in here. Um, meet me over on Nimbus if you want to. What's going on over on Nimbus? Oh, we're just going to run through some of the uh, accolades. Oh. Just for fun. Just for fun. Yep, I'm over at installation 18 waiting for that captain to pop up because that's the last <laughs> captain I need. It's always something. And I'll meet you over Dear. there because that's actually next to one of them. Take care, WC.
Where is the archers? I ever got to turn off the heat before I left this morning, so my apartment's actually kind of warm. It was nice, though, when I got in yesterday. It was really late. Walked low-key. And the apartment was 60 degrees, so cuddled up underneath the blankets <coughs> with a nice radiating dog heater next to me. The only problem yeah. is I got up at uh, 4 and realized there's no heat. It's the only one that's open. Uh, Dante is instance 1. Yep. So it appears so. Let's see if anything's open down on the ground. Okay, um... And popping up. Okay, um, are you... It looks like you're in instance number... It's hard to tell. Are you in one or two? Me? I'm in one. You're in one. Okay. Let's see if it'll let me transfer to one. Okay, it's instance one, Dante, and I'm going to send you a, uh, invitation here. Yep. So you should be able to join us now. See? The joy of having a team. We can invite each other. We can overfill the maps. Yay! Let's see. No, that's not where I wanted to go. Gosh darn it. Boom. Mm, Fought the good fight. Let me come over there. I'm going to join you. Let's see, come right Yeah, here. I'm on Discord, hon. Oh. Is that Nick? Yep. Hi, Nick. He says hi. Hey. So I was chit chatting with somebody the other day about the fleet, and they were like, well, why, why do you like being in the game? Why do you like your fleet? And you know, because you guys just chat on Discord. I'm like, no, 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 no. These aren't people I just go chat on Discord with. I get to see some of these people in real life. Though I still haven't met Dante because he lives so far away from me. I've only met four fleet people in in real life. Well, you've met me. And DT. Yeah. And Frost. DT, Frost. And that other one from the convention. Uh, Alpha. Alpha, yeah. Okay. See? We're real people. There's actually other people there <laughs> from the fleet. Though we have quite a few people from the game at uh, Chicago. I was surprised. Alright, so there is a land bridge, and I have to remember where it is. Oh, I know where it is. Well, it looks like it's right up over in front of us. No, it's not. That's not the right one. I tried climbing up there once. It's not the one. Oh, okay. It's this one. So if you go along these cables here, uh huh, it's going to take us back over to the bridge over the canyon. Right. Oh. So if you just follow behind me. This one down here. Mm-hmm. This one down. We'll take you the easy way here. So this is the land bridge here. Okay, so you just jump down? Jump, yeah, jump off. Whee! It should give you an accolade. Ah, Gorn Ambusher. Uh-huh. I knew it had another name. So that's one of them. Okay. All right. Did you find the mountain climbing one? Mountain climbing. Is that over at the Orion Pirate Sector? It's... Kinda. So we're gonna kind of. So we're gonna okay. climb back out of here. Or if you want to take, oh, unless you want to go. There's a the teleport top. thing in here. Okay. Um, let's see. Probably the comma ray will get you as close as you're gonna get then. Oh, okay. So we can go back to the comma ray because we actually, we need to go back to the stronghold, but we need to go to the entrance of the stronghold is the problem. So the comma ray oh, will probably be the okay. closest point.
Hey folks, if you're not doing this, there's a reason that you should. <laughs> but I can't tell you what that reason is. <laughs> but there's a reason. Alright, so let's go over to the entrance to the stronghold. Well, I need a good reason to do it. <clears throat> well, you guys know the Strange New Worlds episode uh, that included Enterprise Bingo? No. Oh! Okay. seen Strange New Worlds. Oh, Strange New Worlds is quite good, but there's an episode where some of the younger people are playing a game called Enterprise Bingo, where you have to go do different things on the Enterprise, you know, to complete your bingo card. And it gets them into trouble. And after they are cajoled, humored, chastised, blah, 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 and then eventually, you know, reprimanded about it, the commanding officers are like, I've never heard of Enterprise Bingo. What the hell's Enterprise Bingo? So Dante came came up with, we need Star Trek Online Bingo. Absolutely. So, but we're gonna do it based on accolades. Well, I'm in the middle of trying to get my disruptor damage out of the way. Okay. Is everybody here? Let's see. Okay. Well, let's kill these guys while I'm at it here. I love having all these weird little ground accolades to do. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go up here. That's... When I saw it, it's like, yeah, that looks pretty climbable. Yep, it just happens to be climbable. From, from, from. I'm on top of the world! There's two mountain climbing accolades. This is one of them. Where's the Nexus? I'm waiting for the Nexus to get here. Oh, that's a really good thought. What? Yeah, I could do my Nexus thing up here someday. Okay, got it. Okay, Dante, have you got this one? Or did you did Dante have to leave us? I've actually been to Viridian Three. I live right next to it. That's right, you do. You do. We didn't go there. No, we didn't. We forgot. Green Knight Furs, you only have to do this once per tune. But I was showing him where they are. If you're talking about the accolades, no, my tunes have got. My tunes have the accolades. That's not an issue for them on this one. Let's see, is this an exploration? Yeah, too many people are visiting Viridian 3 these days. <laughs> Let's see, Nimbus and I am the So everyone else at Savalia Fire. Uh, Nevada. Yeah, okay, it's not under Nimbus Nimbus Dance Master. There's another one here. Nimbus Jaunt. Nimbus Survivor? There's another one. Uh, oh God, what's the name of the Nimbus, the Master Nimbus one? Uh, just are you for the accolade? Got the one where I killed all of them. You don't have to do accolades, is the thing. It's accolades are because you don't want to. Uh, Nimbus Accolades. It's got a weird name, too. Free satellite coverage for all? <laughs> there is that one. That is a cute one. <laughs> See, Some there's sure. Rock Smasher. Okay, so let me go through here. Accolade. Guy, nah, nah, nah. Barfly Tipsy Top, Watching the Nothing. Nimble on Nimbus, Watch Your Step. Gorn Ambersher, Why Are You Climbing a Mountain? True Engineer, Cockpit cockpit uh, observer then the kill accolades are freedom for the people gorn gone queen slayer storming the stronghold syndicated smash scorpion slayer and free satellite coverage for all so the barfly one uh, i think that's you just go into the barfly no, go into the oh, no, no that's no, a story no, one i think you have to go on top of the building you have to go on you top to of the building 
I thought that was Tipsy Top. No, that's a different no. building. Oh. oh okay. No, I take it correct. You're right. Bar plays. You just walk in. Tipsy Top is the top of the building. Yeah. Watching the nothing. Did you get that one? Watching the nothing. Watching the nothing. No. I don't know if it's still in here. So let's see if it's still listed. Yep, it's still there. This outlook post overlooks the desert outside of Nimbus. All you can see from the from it is more desert and scorpions. So, let's see. Oh. This accolade has the same initial setup as Tipsy Top. As you enter the town, um, up the stairs, jump the beams, run up a green tarp on top of the building, jump onto the beam, climb up to the rooftop. You'll see a small lookout tower supported by two more diagonal beams. You have to go up into the main basket. Oh, okay. So, since I'm up here, let's go back to town. Ah. And don't forget about walking on that damn canopy thing. Yeah, Nimble on Nimbus. God, I hate that one. That <laughs> just, oh. you, you know you can just <laughs> it's like the, the I think that's the hardest the one there. What did you just say, Qantas? You can just click the button to beam to Paradise City. Oh, that's right. I could, couldn't I? Fine. Be that way. See if I can just helping. Yep. <laughs> Trying to. I completely forgot about that. Okay, there we go. So, I haven't done this one, so we need to get up on top. Let's see, over here. So, are they referring to this, like, ramshackled one over... See this? Right up here. This thing up here. This building. Oh, right the like the... silver one? Yeah, right. If you see where I'm looking, if you look up, oh. you need to get to that tower. I remember. I have no This one's not too bad. <clears throat> Just literally run up this, don't you? Mm -hmm. well. <laughs> well. I like the one on the left better. But then I think you have to jump inside, yeah. Got it. Watching okay. to the nothing. Yup. So you can look out through the little haze thing there. Okay, so let's go through what you've got. You've got... Barfly? Yes, I've been in. I've been on top of the bar. I've done Nimble on Nimbus. I've killed all the captains <laughs> of the special ones. I've done that mountain one. Did you... I've done the cockpit observer. Did you do the one with the worms? You mean the one where you jump on the... The four posts? Yes, I've done that okay. one. Um, Gorn see. Ambusher, Rock Smasher... Did you get True Engineer? True Engineer. What do you do for that one? Okay, remember where we are doing the climbing a rock? Or climbing a mountain? Yes. Um... So, it's on the opposite side from the cockpit. You actually have to jump up and look into the large tube of the rocket. Or of the engine. Oh, no, I've not done okay, that. Uh, yeah, that'll, once you get all those. Okay. So, let's go back to the stronghold. Probably be easier to do it from the stronghold. Okay. Just to make life easier, so I'm going to go use the old transporter here. Yup, that's where I'm heading to. I'll have to work backwards a little bit, but stronghold here. Yeah. Let's see. Did you turn day into night on the bar? Not an accolade, but really freaky. No! I don't know that one. Let's see. There's the exit. Here we go. Somebody's got a an accelerator running here. Wee! Is that you? Who, me? Yeah, somebody's got a motion accelerator running. Oh, this is cool. Uh. Somebody over here on the side has got like a jelly baby candied tunes. Huh those colors. Pirate cap? Bam. D By the way, did you get all of your captains? Oh yeah, I, I've got all of them. 
I was. There's an Orion in there. The Taskmaster. Let's get him. Since we're here. Oh, the Taskmaster's out? Okay. Yeah, it says he is. There he is. He's in the courtyard here. Where are you? I'm coming. Okay. <clears throat> I'll shoot him gently for a moment. Bring him gently with feeling. Shooting him gently. Instead of killing him softly. Yep, yep, I was waiting. To hear it, yes. Okie dokie. Alright, so, um, we're gonna go back to the wreckage. Okay. And I'll show you. I was it's... heading in the right direction, yeah, right? Yeah, Dante's over there right now, so if you can see his name. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think I'm in your group. Oh. I can change that. I've just been running around with you. Okay, well, he's straight ahead of us. I used to have to fight these all off, and then I realized you can just run past them. At some point, they'll ignore you. Yeah. Sometimes it's fun to kill them, though. Oh, yeah. There are days. Oh, now we got a Nausicaan guard to go defeat. Nausicaan guard, where are you? He's back the way we came. Oh. That's too much work. He's the one on the ledge. Before you get into okay. the stronghold. I'm not going to worry about him. Okay. Do we run up this now? Hang on a second, i got to remember exactly which one it is. Okay. Um... Where? Oh, it's over here. I remember it. It's... Yep. Maybe. I can't jump. Why can't I jump this too? Can't I climb up here anymore? Oh, over there. No, not there. I'm trying to remember how you get up there. It's this wreckage up above me. How'd you get over there? For me? Yeah. Uh, I went up the mountain and I just came oh, down okay. the ledge. Yeah. Let's see. I think we want to get in. How did I get in there again? Gosh darn it. Maybe I'm in the wrong place. Let's go cheat and look at the guide. I love when they describe things, but they don't add pictures to it. Okay. Oh, good. I got out of there. Yay. All right. So let me backtrack here and see if maybe I just overshot it. Up oh, here it is. My bad. Found it. Yeah, it's this one up here. Yeah, I went too far. Nimbus Survivor? Yeah, that's it! Nimbus Survivor. That's all of the accolades then. So yep. if you've got Nimbus Survivor, Nimbus Jaunt. <clears throat> yeah, I so going through, I've done Barfly, okay. Nimbula, Nimbus. Yeah. I've done the one in the top wa watching for nothing. Mm -hmm. So if you got Nimbus Survivor, that is the barfly tipsy tap watching the nothing nimble on nimbus watching your step watch your step gorn ambusher why are you climbing a mountain true engineer and cockpit observer okay so that's that whole one then the remaining ones are freedom for the people gorn gone queen slayer that's the aiella yeah storming the stronghold syndicate smashed scorpion slayer and free satellite coverage for all that's the yep. whole nimbus thing those are the kill accolades. These were the explore accolades. Right. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yep. As long as you get that what about stupid number. True engineer? Which one? True engineer? That was looking down the tube that you just did. That's part oh, of what? the Oh, okay. Yeah, that was the last one that you needed to get the Nimbus Survivor. Nimbus Survivor is the whole thing. So when gotcha. you got all ten of them, 
you got the okay. engineer, but yeah. it flashed up so fast because the uh, Nimbus yeah. survivor flashes on top of it. Yep. Okay. Fair. Yeah. And that's the same thing down on uh, New Romulus. There are 10 ground yeah. accolades the same way there. Which I really enjoy. <clears throat> Well, the problem I have with the Romulan ones, when you get the missions or whatever to go in the different things, yeah. I always have trouble and have to do it a second time. This, because there was a problem. Okay. Originally, it wasn't a problem. Then when they consolidated some of them, you had uh -huh. to know that you had to pick up two episodes or two missions at the same time. Otherwise, you had to run them twice. It wasn't that you did them wrong. It was the way they were uh -huh. structured. And Ed told me about that. Recently, they fixed that. Uh, within the last two months, I'm going to say. Okay. So if you go down there and you look at the new Romulus missions, uh huh. When you pick them up, they don't give you the option to like a uh, warehouse and secret shuttle codes uh -huh. and web access. No longer require you to pick up two episodes. They're all independent. Okay. Finally. And it'll let you pick up the next one. Yeah. Will it offer you the next one? It will offer you the next one as long as you do the whole mission, which means don't leave it until you turn in the recording. It tells uh, you to turn it in, but you have to make sure you turn it in and then leave and finish it up. So it's gotcha. slightly more difficult, but if you actually do everything that's on the page, it'll finish up. Otherwise, then gotcha. you have to go back and do it. But since within the body of that, you know, there's the 10 uh, D1 mm -hmm. billboards that have to be read and things like that, you have to go back and do it a couple of times. And a lot of those I'm still missing. Because with 20 plus tunes, I really don't want to do Secret of the Ancients 20 times. Want to go do them? <laughs> Not While we're on? Not tonight, no. But let's do them another night. Okay. Okay. The reason being, I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to go take Hellspawnula out. Um, I'm still having a... I'm still having a lot of stuff going on in my real life, which is just killing me. So yeah. You, you guys are keeping me alive in many, many ways, and I really appreciate you all for doing that. But I am going to also respect my body and give it some sleep and food. So... On that note, with all my love and thanks to each and every one of you, I really do love you guys, and I really appreciate how much you're helping me out in a really bad time. Even if you don't know it, you're there for me. So I'm going to go walk the dog, and then um, I'm not on tomorrow, but it's 10 forward, so that's that. Shall we, if you're around on Wednesday, shall we go hit New Romulus? Yeah, that sounds good. Great. Okay, so we're going to hit New Romulus on Wednesday night, everybody. Please join us if you want to get those accolades. We'd love to have you there. And mm -hmm. have a great night, and we'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.